stroke victim's leg is amputated after gangrene goes untreated at a city hospital. It is never reported to the state. An ill infant dies after spending 24 hours in an emergency room without seeing a doctor, again when the state goes unreported. Records are altered after medical students make a fatal mistake and an infant dies. The paper started its review after Esmond Green's highly publicized death in the psychiatric ward at Kings County Hospital last year. A shocking video surveillance tape shows Green lying in the emergency room for 45 minutes as hospital staffers ignore her. Since then, investigators have questioned the accuracy of that hospital's medical records. The news review found a culture of secrecy at the city hospitals. Bronx mom Magdalia Soto spends most of her days feeding squirrels in the park today. The one-time CVS pharmacy assistant can no longer speak clearly or walk. She needs help from her children to clothe, bathe, and feed herself. Feed the squirrel. There's a bench there. You sit on the bench there. And I, 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 I call the squirrel. She has been this way since employees at Lincoln Hospital misdiagnosed the stroke she was having as mental illness. This, even though hospital records from January 2005 reveal that she is having trouble forming words and walking. But staffers misdiagnosed her with mental illness and threw her in the psych ward. All this happened over her family's protests. She was immediately taken to the emergency room where all of these symptoms were reported. They're classic stroke symptoms. She reported them she, the best she could. Her son reported the symptoms. She was examined. It's in the hospital record, right-sided weakness, slurred speech. She couldn't really understand what was happening. The questions they were asking her, she couldn't understand. She told me that, that um, they, they just were asking her questions and she was trying to speak and she just couldn't speak. The city hospitals paid Magdalia Soto $850,000 to avoid a lawsuit. Hers is just one of the stories among patients who were maimed and relatives who were never told the truth about how their loved ones died.